And good Friday afternoon. We're going to start with a time lapse across Niagara Falls. And you can see the sun is really out warming things up. And I've had a couple people say, well, we're out of the woods then. It looks like those storms are going to bypass us. Well, that's not true at all. As a matter of fact, this sun is actually just helping warm things up at the surface, giving us more fuel. That warm air is going to be rising as we get that trigger, that cold front later. And that's just going to increase the risk of severe thunderstorms across the region. And actually, we have an enhanced risk. This is from the storm prediction. Center and enhanced risks of severe thunderstorms today with 30% chance being the wind damage. Strong damaging winds could be moving through our area and along with that we actually do have the isolated tornado threat. So 5% that's a pretty significant threat when you're talking about western New York for a potential tornadic storm. So we want to look a little bit more into what this is, what's causing it and how well these models are picking up on things. So this radar takes us to about 2 o'clock this loop and what I'm really looking for here is how accurate the models are. Now this line that's starting to develop is about halfway up through the thumb of Michigan. So I want to see if the models are placing this at the same place. So I take a look at the model runs at 2 p.m. and there we go, about halfway up the thumb of Michigan. It's showing those that line of storms moving through. And that tells me the placement is pretty good and I would expect the timing of these models to be pretty right on. Now if we take a look, these are going to be pushing in these storms as they intensify into the right on the doorstep of western New York at about 6 p.m. A lot of high school sports today so you're going to want to check your local news, check your school's websites, make sure that those aren't going to be canceled or delayed to a later time. And then by 9 o'clock from 6 to 9, the leading edge of those storms is just going to fire on through. Most of the eight counties of western New York will be cleared from the leading edge by 9 o'clock. And then by midnight, you could see we're just left with a few scattered showers here and there. So as that cold air starts, or cooler air starts to filter on through, we can expect to see just a few scattering of showers. And uh, most of that severe weather is going to be well off to our east by then as it dies out throughout the night. So a little look into why we're getting some of those stronger winds today before those storms. Now just imagine up above the earth and higher up in the atmosphere we have stronger winds because of less friction. So let's pretend we've got 75 mile an hour winds coming up from aloft and about 30 mile an hour wind stream down at the surface. Well as the sun beats down on the ground and starts to warm up that surface the air at the surface wants to rise and what's got to replace that is the air aloft and that starts mixing down some of those stronger winds. Now that tornado threat, why are we looking at this potential for tornadic storms today? Well, think about pushing an oar through water. So what happens is you're pushing this oar through. Out in front of the oar you could see the water pick it, piling up a bit because it's higher pressure. And then behind the oar you could see the water level a bit lower, lower pressure. And that water wants to make its way from the high to low pressure and it can't go through the oar. So what it does is it circles around and we start to get these uh, these bow echoes and this ability for some rotation to be picked up. Now, early off in these, uh, early on in the development of these, uh, these lines of storms, we often will see these discrete cells, which we've talked about a little bit in algebra class. Discrete meaning they're not connected. And then as we get some momentum, these storms tend to bow out, and then these individual cells you'll start to see bow, and as they do, the circulation around those bow echoes has the potential to produce rotation and tornadic storms. So just tune in throughout the day today. It's not that I'm expecting a tornado, but you've got to be on the lookout and got to be prepared for whatever comes your way. So please be tuned to the weather throughout the day. Check back. if I, I'm going to be out chasing later, so if I get any good videos, I'll make sure to send them your way.